Hey guys, uh, I had a guy email me, he's having a hard time getting, uh, figuring out how to get his filler valve out of his lighter. Uh, you know, so I'm going to try to explain, see if I got it. A fill valve in here. I don't know. Uh, filler valves vary quite a bit. All right. So sometimes, now I don't know if this is it or not, but let me look. Well. Let me, uh, I'm going to go through here and try to see if I, I'm going to get this up a little closer to me so I can see and see if I got that valve in there. Uh, I might have put the valve back in the lighter and, uh, and, uh, sold the lighter, I don't know, but, uh. Some of these valves, uh, by the way, this this valve here, I had to destroy it because I absolutely couldn't get it out. I had to use it. I had to use an easy out to break this thing free. These brass filler valves in uh, aluminum alloy lighter bodies, uh, you're gonna have some trouble if they've been in there. I mean, you might not be able to get it out. See, I stripped all the. I stripped all these little notches out here for getting it in there. I stripped them out. Uh, the only thing I know to do that might help is possibly soaking the lighter in alcohol or something overnight. Possibly. I don't know. You know, once you get two metals that don't want to cooperate and they get locked in together, you could use some heat, but if you got a painted surface, you know, you can you can ruin that too so sometimes there just isn't much you can do you just have to do your best <clears throat> also some of these lighters you get this one here i don't think it's one of them it's got notches on here you can see to, to get the fill valve out but once in a while you'll get a lighter that once you remove the cap the filler valve cap you'll look down here and there's there's nothing you can get in there to screw that out okay but I, I, the first time I come across one of these, I thought, how in the world am I going to get that filler valve out? Because it was leaking. And, you know, I had to do something. So let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, maybe zoom out. Zoom out. But uh, let me grab a tool here. See which one I need. Try this. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll get these here. They'll have a real thin body, and there is no notches. Okay, like I said, that you can get down in there with a with a tool and unscrew that. What you got to do is, is when you come across a lighter like that, what you got to do is, is you'll take out this rubber seal here, and underneath that will be a washer. Once you pull that washer out of there, because actually there'll be threads in here. For your filler cap okay and what happens is after you uh like i said take the rubber washer out there's a washer uh, down here a metal one once you remove that there'll be these little notches right here that you use a tool down here and this little valve will pop out from the inside okay that's how they're doing that so just keep that in mind if you come across one of these lighters that's real thin I got one here, but I don't think it's, uh, I still think it's got, especially these lighters, uh, yeah, this in here you can get to, okay, and you can pop that now, it's kind of like the one I got in my hand, but there's some of them, it look like, 
well there's, there's I see threads you know but uh, but I can't get the filler valve out well that's because it's covered up okay that you gotta do as I explained to you pop out that rubber washer and the one I had had a rubber washer then had a stainless steel washer here it was chrome plated or stainless one of the two and once I was able to get that out then I saw the two little notches down in here and uh, once you uh, get a valve like that then you're going to have to have a special tool like something like this okay where you can get down in there and unscrew it out or you can get you like a, a screwdriver or something like that like this here and you can dremel it out okay to give room for your pin and get down in there and screw it out that way you know, you're going to have to have a special tool this is the cheapest way to go here but it takes some time because uh, it takes some time uh, to get it right because you want to make sure these made up with the inside of that valve or you can strip that brass out or you can get online and buy these little tools that'll there's two of these online you know I got these off of uh, eBay and uh, they're like about uh, the, you buy it by the set and it's like 50 bucks this really comes in kind of handy guys because you don't, some of them valves don't come out very easy and you want to make sure you've got a solid uh, grip in there before you turn that because if you strip this brass out like these little notches here, you'll never get that valve out. You'll probably have to ruin the valve before you get it out. But anyway, that's my advice to you guys that's come across that situation. I understand where you're coming from. And once in a while, guys, the valves won't come out, <clears throat> especially in these alloy lighters. You know, this in here, I think it's a, is a pretty decent metal. This has been sitting here because I got to, this has been sitting for months because I got to drill out a brass piece that will fit over this here uh, burner valve here and go down into here. And it's got to have a... It's got to have a couple notches like this. I tried to drill this one out, but I couldn't get it drilled out. So it would fit all the way down in there. Okay, I couldn't get it drilled out. It's stainless steel. Pretty hard, so I'm going to have to make one of these out of brass. And get all the way down in there to where these two little notches here will fit around down in there. If you can see it, and uh, twist that out so I can uh, unplug this valve. But this is a nice quality lighter. Japanese lighter here. Okay. It's actually a Tanita lighter. These are quality lighters. Okay. But anyway, you come across all kinds of designs when you're working on these guys. And and uh, most generally, they're right, kind of all the same. But once in a while, you run across something that's a little funky. And, you know, you gotta you got to have something special uh, to, uh, you know, get it out with. Here's, uh, this is kind of like my scrap parts here for lighters. Uh, you can see that, you know, you don't throw nothing away. Even though it's a piece of scrap, don't throw nothing away because it just might come in handy for something. Alright. Alright, keep these PZOs too. And right here's filler valves for old, you know, Japanese lighters and, or, yeah, them smaller ones, you know, it's got the filler, uh, flame adjustment filler valve and things, you know, if they go bad, if your filler valve leaks, you, you got a problem. I mean, if it leaks from the inside, you can always change the O-rings here. Then I got some fill valves down here. And springs don't ever throw springs away okay they come in handy also too when you take a rubber part off of something save it I mean if it's good you know and you're replacing it and it might be a little bit war uh, for the lighter you got but it might work for something else you know so don't throw anything away 
Uh, you, you just never know. Well, I have that. Then I have uh, I have some other stuff that you know, like uh, parch lighters. They like here. I got some tanks. I got some tanks here from some lighters that I took out. Okay, and some parts. This is to one of them uh, electric or yeah, this is to an electric lighter here. I think it is. I can't remember. No, that's to another lighter. But uh, this one here was an excellent quality Japanese lighter. I couldn't, I couldn't get it fixed because of uh, one reason or another. So, or maybe I can. Maybe I put it off. I don't know. But this is. He's got this. Look at these old. Look at this old time PCO thing to come with here, folks. Look at that. I mean, you know, I can't remember how that worked. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, I think this PZO, possibly this PZO was bad here on this one. I can't remember. But you just don't replace them. Okay. Uh, some other bodies and stuff that I've kept, you know, I, I mean they're just kind of really kind of worthless, but if you have to fix somebody's lighter and they got a body like that, and there's a little worse for wear, why not use it? I've kept these around just in case, you know, this one's got a fill valve in along with the plug. Uh, about this lighter. It's probably another one that I need to work on. Alright. This one here, I kind of had it halfway going pretty good. This is actually a nice little lighter. It needs a little work. Here's the worst one that ever happened to me right here. Uh, and some electrical capacitors for these electric lighters. Here's an electric lighter that uh, I, don't, I don't mess around too much with these electric lighters. You know, it's just it's just kind of a, I don't know. That's in very good shape. It looks like it's new. I'll probably just turn around and put it in salt with a lighter lot or something and just get rid of it because I don't really like one to work on. Because on an electric lighter, if you've got a bad electrical component, you know, I, I do have a few electrical components in here from these electric lighters, you know, but you just, you just don't want to, uh, that's a whole new different ball game. If those things work, they work, if they don't, now well, you know, throw it away and, or, you know, sell it or do whatever you have to and just, uh, you know, I need to leave these out. So I'll know what you need to work on. I got two main lighters to work on. So, you know, I, I work, uh, you know, I get to sleep maybe about 1 o'clock every night or something like that. And I'm up early in the morning. And sometimes, you know, by the end of the week, you know, I'm pretty well shot. And man, you don't want to do work like this. Work on anything, really, in general. Uh, uh, when you're tired, I put lighters together and freaking had it taken completely apart because I forgot something, you know. And I was like, man, what's wrong with you? Yeah, well, what's wrong with me is I'm freaking tired. My mind's, you know, needs to get some sleep, but, you know, it doesn't work that way for me. I just can't lay down and go to sleep sometimes. But, uh, unless I'm really tired or something, but, uh... Uh, anyway, I had a light in here, it went bad on me, LED light, paid about 50 bucks for it, bought two of them, got one above the stove, it's a real nice, nice light, but it's, I heard, I was here working on something, I heard the thing pop, and all of a sudden it starts flashing off, and so, uh, you know, this is my new desk and stuff that I use. This kind of 
desk here actually comes in handy uh, for me because when I'm done if I got a lighter disassembled there you know and I don't want things messed with I can just close the lid on until I come back to it anyway guys any questions give me a holler